Sirius 197, XM202, the virus. The Fez Show starts right now. Hello. Quiggy. It, it's very childlike because I heard it all the time when I was a kid. Right. I think it's third even, is it? Be- I'm I here. am. <laughs> I am here. Fez <laughs> Watley washing his hands like a big boy. There he is. Like they're watching uh, the person on television. There he is. Like they fed him in the crowd at a football game. And it still looks great, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if the nickname is the best thing. Let's see how it works. There he is. There he is. AIDS boy. You know, now that you bring up there he is, I think my doorman does it to me still. I just say hi. A very awkward hi. Uh, there's, uh, that's the only response that uh, even seems close to correct. Hi. Don't. I'm very ticklish. Very. Hated it. Absolutely hated it. It it hurt. It felt like they were pulling my ribs out. The holidays are tickle season. Yeah, yeah. I would be, you know, maybe um, Antonio Fezzaluni. I did get a, the Friday comment upstairs. Um, uh, I got this. We made it. We made it to Friday. Oh, it was. It's the guy who used to look like Weird Al Yankovic until he got a uh, uh, promotion. Yeah, I got. As I was trying to get away, as I was walking home uh-huh. after my bike was thrown in the ditch by these two no good nicks, these two hoodlums and their dungaree cutoffs. No, but they threw my bike in the ditch, and as I was walking home, bikeless, uh, they came up behind me and punched me in the ear. To which I replied, "That didn't hurt." Yes, yes, I did. Is um, that why you're all better today? Um, I'm. Yeah, I'm trying to use some of the stuff that he gave me. To chill out. Yeah, this is the secret therapist. I meet him at his office in the village. Uh, yeah, the couches are. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the Rosenstein uh, atrium at the Lincoln Center. No, I did. The gearhead didn't even have the nicest camera <laughs> last night. The latest technology he must have. Well, you can't because not all gays are kid touchers. Hmm? And not all kid touchers are gays. So there's no way to take that logic in any sort of line. No, not everyone eats shit. Not every gay eats shit. I guess, I suppose there are some gays that eat shit, like there's some heteros that do. I don't think so. Doesn't mean anyone's bellying up to the ass with a spoon. No, I don't. Yeah, I believe he is from the Tampa Bay area. No, I think that was it. Never did work his way back up to Tampa Bay. Um, I, it may be. We're doing Unmasked with Eddie Izzard. Mm-hmm. Well, it hits me very quickly anymore. Yes, there was a time where I could drink. Now I'm just a beer away from raving lunatic. Oh, I still drink. Yeah, I uh, I drink in the privacy of my home now. Well, not if I'm not hurting anyone. I have no idea. I didn't remember it until I got reminded of it. Well, she's got a great title for it already. Fishburn. No. Huh. All right, that's not what Ellen is saying. She's saying that too busy. Too busy. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, you would have thought that she would have realized, yes, I do a show, and now I'm signing on for another show that is two ti- two nights a week live. And they're saying that Simon may be replaced by Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. They... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds like with Ellen being shown the door, and she still had years left on her idol contract, uh, it sounds like they listened to you yesterday, and are thinking of just cleaning the slate on this thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, because Ellen was absolutely not working out. The humor didn't work there. Oh. I think that's Jay Wow. Snooki got brought up. Lindsay Lohan. Oh, oh yeah, Joy Behar. Yeah, it is doing very well on headline news. I have no Time idea. Of the season. Who's your daddy? Um, that's Finn. the new entourage. The L.A. Gold. Um, I think O.J., if I'm right, I think he got like seven or eight years. I'm trying to remember because, you know, because O.J. had a gun. So that, you know, of course, is going to tack on a lot of time. It is July 30th. Oh, August. I cannot stand August. There is nothing appealing about it, Uh, you know, because I'm done with the heat, Mm -hmm. you know, all through July. August, 31 more days of heat. Not really any good movies coming out. You get lousy preseason football. August has nothing going for it. There's no holidays. Oh, he wanted him to know that Turtle couldn't be uh, bought, I guess. I do not know Turtle's real name. I could throw pens at the Taliban. There is a lot from that day I do not remember. Remember drinking. I remember getting upset. But specifics escape me. 
No, I don't remember fighting with Mel Gibson you that day. Mel that was Mel Gibson. I was the maniac screaming and crying and being an absolute lunatic. It's really embarrassing. I wish... That's yeah, so, I mean, I'd like to focus on the difference and maybe just have that drunken maniac go away. Drunk Fez, drunk raving lunatic Fez and Mel Gibson. Well, you control. Just you have it go away. August is the worst. Yeah, we um, get to watch Julia Roberts eat pizza. I know. I wish everyone else could black it out like I have. I am looking for it. Uh, let's see here. 54% the Jehovah Witnesses. Yeah, the Mormons I see more in the neighborhood. The Jehovah Witnesses, I think, actually ring the door. I have not watched True Blood. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I... Yeah, and I do not turn on True Blood. I'm not going to give it the time. There's vampire overload. I'm not going to yeah, be uh, part of it. The Rock must be saying, why didn't the mummies movies hang on longer? The mummy movies. You should really pity that person. It's not nice. That was yep. on ABC, and I think it's been canceled already. It was a gated community for vampires. Yeah, it was supposed to be like this neighborhood for vampires. Beverly Hills 90210 negative. There were no pills and poppers. That's my accounting firm. That show should be great if they got Ian McShane, the TV good luck charm. Every series he gets maybe gets five episodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people love that. The critics love him, but his shows never stay on the air. And get rid of the audio. Don't remix it with Mel Gibson's rants. Just get rid of the drunken rage audio. I don't... That's my last name. Not legally, no. I get some emails addressed to Mr. Watley. Usually well, asking to help out some sort of African prince. Oh, I have been, and beloved is misspelled, it's like B-A, loved. But I, this past week, I have been getting tons of those. It's almost like it's the end of the month and they've got to get their sales quota in. Chris with a K. Oh, yeah, yeah, just um, a problem that I'm having. Yes, you? I'm having a little problem and I figured I'd that discuss it. Cool? Yeah, I know, it's not well, like what's me. What's the problem? It's just something that's going on with my brother. Yeah. No, we're not going to end in tears. Right. No, I promise it won't. Because you're doing great. You're having a great day. Thank you. I promise you it won't end in tears. But just a little problem I'm having with my brother. I would love if that just got burned. Thank you. Oh, that's nice to hear. So maybe I do like... I felt like last night I just didn't get to talk as much as... I, I didn't get to tell him as many problems as I wanted to. Which seems to be, you know, it's like, well, that's why I was there. But he just, I was in such a fit. He just wanted to chill me out. Yeah, well, he said that when he was done and he got me kind of calmed down on the couch and stuff, he said, this is the kind of stuff that will stick with you. He says, I got you calmed down now in the moment. He goes, your mm. mind is going to remember this later on. It was just, um, he calls it focalizing. I got focalized. Oh. Right I there on his couch. So it was just basically trying to stay in the moment and change my state in that moment. It's, um, he had me close my eyes and oh, then, God. no, I didn't. And it was, you know, make sure that I feel my feet firmly on the floor where it's make sure I feel that and start at my feet and just feel that the floor <laughs> is safe underneath me, that it is solid. Yeah. Cause you know me, Ron, my feet are all over the place. Oh, yeah. So I'm just keeping my feet on the floor, and I'll go see him and again next week. And you're heading to stars? Week. Could be. But I do have this problem with my little brother. All right, this is, this is what's going on. Every night, I play catch with my dead brother. I go out in the woods, and I play catch with my dead brother. Ever since the horrible car accident. And now, I like this girl who sails, and I can't go sailing with her because every night I play catch with my dead brother. And my dead brother will get really upset if I decide to go sailing because I didn't realize you can't do both things. You can't go sailing with pretty girls, maybe go out in the morning, get in a sail, come back, Put the boat back at the dock and then meet your dead little brother in the evening in the woods to catch with him. Apparently you can't do both of these things. And it's, it's, it's the old rule. 
it's ghost bros before sailing hoes is the whole problem here. This is that damn Charlie St. Cloud movie trailer. The commercial that is on every other commercial. You'll get a Charlie St. Cloud commercial, then maybe something with FreeCreditReport.com or something, and then another Charlie St. Cloud movie commercial. I am so thrilled that Charlie St. Cloud the movie opens today. Mm Mm-hmm. Because it just means that the trailer will finally start to go away. I don't know how he throws. It seems to me like it's a lot of chasing the ball. So it's Zac Efron from High School Musicals. Now they would hate it if that was like their shower curtain and we did it to them. So not since um, The Blind Side Mm -hmm. have I been so excited for a movie to open. Uh, It sounds to me. Just so that it can close. Oh, I'm sure. Yes, Zac Efron. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's for the you know for like the little, little girls, girls to go they're, see. They're like, yeah, he can't get along with his life. He can't get on with it, Ronnie. Now I have seen it everywhere. Charlie Saint Cloud. Saint Cloud. He's got his heads in the clouds, I guess. Yeah, he's the incredibly good-looking kid at at, at school who gets called freak. Um, because he's every night. I play catch with my dead brother. Right, he did the high school musicals. Yeah, those are, it's just like Glee, I think. It's a Disney Channel movie. Nice. Dinner for Schmucks is at 54%. Charlie St. Cloud is half of that. Oh my gosh, the revenge of Kitty Galore. That's one of the characters. Again, that's a commercial that's nonstop. Yeah, yeah, where she's in trouble at sea. Like that little girl who tried to sail around the world. And it's like, I'm sorry. Every night, I have to play catch with my dead brother. I won't be able to go on the rescue mission. <laughs> 23 hours of the day, there's no issues. But this one hour... I, it, <laughs> why are they playing at night? <laughs> get up in the morning. Get it over with. Well, yeah, well, like an after-school special like they used to do. Would you put a shirt on? I, I can't. This, every night. Stanford. I'm not gonna ditch you. Dad said. But I'm not. Oh, he's growing up. I catch you playing catch with that kid again. We'll always be brothers. Do not go see Charlie St. Cloud. I don't want that movie held over because (laughs) of box office receipts. It's the boat or the bull. Uh huh. It should have been. I'm. I every night I do musical dance numbers with my dead brother. From High School Musical. Yeah, that was Disney, High School Musical. No, no, I just know it was on Disney. Got a niece who enjoys it very much. I try to stay away from that. Never cared for it myself. Now, I had one, but now uh, now he goes out and plays catch with his dead brother. Oh, right. I'm getting there. I'm getting focalized. I'm staying focalized. It looks like she's sailing around the world. She gets into trouble, and somehow he catches up to her in another sailboat. Like, he's not motorboating his way out there or anything. It's another... I guess he's getting a stronger wind to catch up to her to save her. I don't want to ruin it. Because maybe she does sink, and then every afternoon he goes sailing with his dead girlfriend. Maybe this will, you know, do for ghost movies what the uh, the Twilight did for the vampires. I have not seen High School Musical. Um, it was it was actually like Disney Channel movies, and I think they made three of them. No, it wasn't a show. It was like a series of cable movies. Yeah, yeah, they made the first one. It took off, so they made two more. You know, I, I've never read Thor. Yeah, I believe so. I haven't seen the Roller Skating Babies. But just the two words together just sounds hysterical. Yeah, it is funny. Who put skates on a baby? Sorry, I can't tell you. Good one. Sounds like Jor-El talking. They're all back. Uh Uh-huh, yeah, already jokey. Yeah, they knew they didn't have enough in that trailer to get people in. Yeah, this uh, Thor seems like Thundar Thundar the Barbarian uh, had a baby with Prince of Persia. Is what this thing looks like. Yeah, and even 
Thor I was ne- even less of a fan of. Yeah, it just, I, I don't like the, the, I guess, the Viking speak, this uh, Shakespearean thing. I don't know how anyone's going to sit through that film and keep listening to that over and over again. Yeah, immediately start running. No, wait till the laser beams start <laughs> yes, hitting our mufflers. You know he's- <laughs> when I, uh, you know, I was out to begin with on this thing. You weren't in at all. Not in at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And now I'm even further out. I'm out here when I see that they know they don't have enough with the Thor character that they have to put in scary desert robot monster. I understand the words, but I don't want to hear it for the entire movie. The Fantastic Four movies were awesome, awful. Yeah, and I also said the Fantastic Thor. <laughs> That's good. No, nah, I That's don't. That's blindside to you. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm not. I have no. I have no need. That's why I like. I didn't mind seeing this trailer because I. I don't care if it's ruined for me. I'm not going to go see it. Yeah, I am trying to stay away from that. Like last week, I guess it was. We got to see the suit. And that that photo was everywhere on the internet, and I walked right into it. I guess not. So I was really trying to avoid it. Yeah. It was like, it was even with um, when they started showing, you know, uh, photos would leak of some of the Heath Ledger prosthetics when he was playing the Joker. And I was like trying to avoid that. I wanted to see what the Joker looked like on film. Yeah. Yeah, and, well, and the, the other thing is, it's so unavoidable, because it'll be on CNN.com. There'll be, you know, something there where it pops up. It's not just, you know, comic book sites, or movie sites, even. Don't like want it. anything to do with them. Yeah, to show up for a day's work. Doesn't sound like much of a teaser, <laughs> ten minutes long. No, no, I don't play the video game. How are those f- photos coming out, too, from uh, up in the upper deck there? The cheap seats, the 300 level. And now those are people, too, with those panels. They would, um, you know, not sell out, but the, the reservations would be taken up so quickly. People had to put in months in advance to get in there, and they're not even paying attention. Jumpy. Dragons of Zinth. Um, I, you know what, I couldn't tell if they were good or bad. I don't know. They started one song with some weird sound effect that uh, was going right through my head, and I thought I was—I thought the room was going to start spinning. No, in a bad. Hey, buddy, what can uh, I do for you? Yeah, I read the Superman comics. The that's D- what you mean. Uh, he's DC, aren't they? Yep, he yeah. is DC. I'll have to try to make it out there some year. That would have been a lot better. We are Smallville. Maybe eventually you get some of the stars to stop out. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to get a little wordy on a traffic report. All right, that was one time when I got really, really drunk on the show. Dragons of Zinth, they really should be disqualified. Right. And someone should have put a stop to the night. Oh, they want you to think you're eating in a firehouse. Oh, yes, hosp. There was something I just (laughs) wanted to talk to Earl about one-on-one, and Hoss had to start showing off his Black Rock Coalition T-shirt right in Earl's face. It's a different fez. This is... Vocalize. Uh, no, it's a, he doesn't call it hypnosis. It's vocalizing. And I didn't feel like I went under like I do with hypnosis. Saska had a hat factory! <laughs> Slowly oh, I no. Oh, no. Inch by no. inch. Woof. Step by Woof. step. How did I get over here? Yeah. <laughs> didn't even try changing the hat company name. No. My fezzy sense is tingling. Oh. <laughs> May I be excused? <laughs> you know I can't climb. Mm-hmm. This, this is a pleasant experience sitting here with you today. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, this as long is... as the building's not sliding off the island now. I can't imagine listening to the whole thing like that. It's just it's you a nightmare to all... me. Focalize. I'm very embarrassed by this. I, I get humiliated when the clips are played. How I acted towards uh, that's good, Freddie the intern. That's... That never stopped me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I would actually try to give a bite to Bikini Fez. Which listen isn't to him? this delicious? But I do not want to. Oh, I can't hear that. That whole thing of that I'm... drunk day. I thought you were going to go for a whole de- uh, specific day there. 
Well, now that's gotten the online response. That's just Mikey Boy's mind, you know. Mikey Boy, you know, uh, has a law degree. He knows lo- he knows the facts and figures of everything. It's just how his mind works. Oh, okay. <laughs> Recently widowed. <laughs> I would love to go sailing with you, but I have a ghost brother and a thing with water. Ah, oh, very oh, nice. Down, Mac- the brother is dead out in the woods, though. Oh, that's still, that's oh, yeah, still yeah, works, Play, so. PlayStation every night. I don't. They're the ones that are making sure they're getting in the auctions every night. I'm signed up. We're, yes, I'm signed up for tonight's auction. Eight o'clock. Uh, I'll be in there. Uh, iPad on the line. They were the smart players. I mean, uh, the- oh sure, yeah. It's uh, it's hard to strategize, but people will try to do it. I mean, you just you're basically t- trying to be the last bidder before the clock runs out. It's uh, that's a week from tonight. It's the BMW. The next thing I win is yours. Well, the uh, remember the of course the DC sniper story. I- yeah, well, Lloyd uh, Malvo, who uh, the was the uh, accomplice, really. I mean, he right. Yeah, yeah. It was John Muhammad that was taking him out, and they were both shooting. John Muhammad was put to death. Uh, uh, Malvo just recently confessed to more murders saying that they had recruited other snipers, and when they wouldn't go along with Mohammed, they shot them. They killed two more people. That, uh, But the weird thing was, he revealed all this in an interview. He confessed it with William Shatner. For the for, what? Uh, for William Shatner's what? A&E crime interviews, I guess it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Hey. Yeah, and and the guy confesses to him. So the cops who have had him for years and years in custody never got this out of him, never came out in court, lawyers going back and forth when they're trying to get a confession out of him to begin with. Captain Kirk pulls this off. We should have T.J. Hooker talk to Joran Vandersloot. That's the uh, guy who killed the girl in Peru. He's also uh, suspected in the Natty... Natty. (laughs) Natalie Holloway. No, that's That's what we called her at camp. Uh, I play catch with her in the woods <laughs> every night. Seems to be deep enough. It's, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like someone else interviewed Malvo, and then they just did an A-B roll with uh, Shatner doing the questions later on. Susquehanna Hat Factory! That was Freaky. your favorite? Oh, I mean, I know, I, I remember being really upset and really drunk. See, I didn't know that. See, I don't know the specifics of it because I just didn't remember the day after. And I would really like to see those that that audio just burned. I guess you'd have to burn the whole computer to do it. (laughs) Just get rid of that, please. Make it disappear. Yeah, I just drink. They're a good Friday. Yeah, not really picking up on it. Just not understanding. You have, uh... Well, I have focalizing. Right. <laughs> so which is it? a big one. But I know you... Yeah. Yeah, I have made the vow. I'm not watching wrestling until Linda McMahon is out of the Senate race. No, I haven't seen this. Oh, How brother! She... What's the catchphrase? What you gonna do? Playing to the wrestling fans and the soccer moms. I don't want to give it up to her, but she may be genius there. Well, if... Or the genius Lanny Poffo. Right, yeah. Snap Not into it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I, that one got convinced very easily <laughs> yeah. on her vote. Yeah. But it's what about fun. doink? <laughs> Not my cup of tea, Ronnie. Oh, that is insane. 500 jobs. 300 of them are dead in their gyms right now. They should have done if you smell what the soccer moms are cooking. That was the rock. Mm. Um, I don't know what The Rock is doing. Oh, okay. Yesterday, she was dressed like she was going to the Chelsea Clinton wedding. Oh, wrestling. It's a soap opera. If there was some sort of run-in during her swearing-in. They're running hand-in-hand with Minnesota down Crazy Street. And Al Franken. Franken's like some sort of courtroom sketch artist. He was actually, he's actually too good. They have to make those a little bit more blurry, I guess, so people can't figure out exactly what someone looks like in the courtroom. He's, Scares the hell out of me. Yeah, my mother had taken me to the post office, and they had <laughs> with her, and it took, and they have all those wanted posters up there, and a lot of this are the artist's rendering of the perpetrator, and they scared the hell out of me.
just any of those drawings. And now whenever they show one on the 11 o'clock news, I, I run. I cover my eyes and then trip over the table trying to get out of the room. I can, never, I can never find my own remote. It's always the first place you look. That's just going to look insane. You're going to see a Senate hearing. There's Al Franken sitting next to Linda McMahon in some sort of committee. I'll never get used to it. I don't think I'll ever get used to seeing it. I'm just waiting for Al Franken to go into some sort of joke or line. He's... Anytime he's questioning a uh, Supreme Court nominee. Oh, we have uh, Schumer. Oh, Rangel, the congressman, yeah. Here's my property in the Dominican. As yeah. you can see, it has a balcony and two baths. No, I guess not. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Barney Frank at a party or two, but that's about it. He's been there a long time. He's very popular with the people. I guess he's too busy for that. Put a 10 on the back of the Zoo New York shirt. Focalize. Oh. I wish. That's you're over there, you're doing jokes, you're fucking relax. You, you, your demeanor is relaxed. You're not holding on to the table. The... Um, even the shoulders are slooped a little bit. You look like you look like this studio is not on fire. And then you come in here today, and I might feel be like a little crazy. I see my old pal Fez Watley in here. Hey, that's the end of my show. Donk. <laughs>